friends, welcome to a new video from Happy Learning. Today we are going to learn about the Moon. The Moon is the only satellite that rotates around our planet and it takes 28 days to completely go around the Earth. But do we know what a satellite is? A natural satellite is any kind of celestial body that rotates, or actually, orbits around the planet. The moon is never still. It moves in two ways. It has a movement of rotation and a movement of translation. That is to say, it rotates around the Earth. The duration of the movement of rotation and translation is 28 days because it takes the same amount to rotate on its own axis and to completely go around the Earth the Moon always shows us the same face. When we observe the Moon along a period of time it appears to change shape. These changes in appearance are called lunar phases and they repeat every 28 days. There are four. Full Moon, First Quarter, New Moon and Last Quarter. The Moon phases are produced by two reasons the movement of the moon around the earth and because the moon reflects light from the sun as a mirror. New moon. In this phase, the moon is passing between the earth and the sun. The illuminated face of the moon is facing the opposite direction to earth. The dark side ends up facing the earth and this is why we cannot see the moon. First quarter. You can see approximately one week after the new moon. One half of the illuminated side faces the Earth. It is called the first quarter because from the new moon phase, the zone illuminated by the sun grows every time. Full moon. Approximately a week after the first quarter, we can see the whole moon illuminated. The Earth is between the moon and the sun and we can see it fully. Last quarter. The moon presents its other half face illuminated. The name from the last quarter comes from the fact that the illuminated side becomes smaller and smaller each time. A very easy trick to know whether the moon is in its first or last quarter is the following. If the moon has the shape of a C, it is in the last quarter. And if it has the shape of a D, it is in the first quarter. So now you know, the moon has four faces. New moon, first quarter, full moon, and last quarter. Now we are going to learn a few facts about the moon. Do you know the distance between the moon and the earth? Although it looks as it's not very far away, the moon is about 385,000 kilometers from the earth. Another very interesting fact that a rocket takes three days to get to the moon. It's incredible, isn't it? The first astronaut that stepped on the moon was Neil Armstrong. And this very important accomplishment occurred in the year 1969 aboard on the Apollo 11 rocket. The moon is four times smaller than the Earth, which is very important for the sustainability of life in our planet. The moon generates tides. Do you know what a tide is? A tide is the rise and fall of the sea level. They occur every six hours approximately. Well, now you know a little bit more about the moon. Very interesting, right? Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. The lunar eclipse is when the Earth is situated between the Moon and the Sun, making the Earth block out the Sun's rays, which would be shining on the Moon, creating a shadow and darkening it. This phenomenon allows us to see the Moon in a reddish color, almost as if it were bleeding. Lunar eclipses are quite frequent and can be seen from any part of the world at nighttime. They last various hours 
and can be of different types, though the most frequent ones are the partial lunar eclipse and the total lunar eclipse. When there is an eclipse and it looks as if someone has taken a bite out of the moon, it is a partial lunar eclipse. And when there is eclipse and one can see the whole moon, it is a total eclipse. Easy, don't you think? By the way, to observe a lunar eclipse, one doesn't need anything special. A normal telescope or binoculars would do. Well, now we know a little more about eclipses. Don't you think it's fascinating learning new things? Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Did you know that the moon keeps moving further and further away from the Earth? The moon moves away from the Earth 3.8 centimeters each year. We know this because on one of our journeys to space, astronauts left on the surface of the moon some reflectors. From the Earth, scientists beamed some lasers into space that bounced off the reflectors and returned back to our planet. Thanks to the journey of the lasers, scientists could measure the exact distance between the Moon and the Earth. The moving away of the Moon makes each day longer. A long, long time ago, when the Moon was a lot closer to the Earth, days lasted about five hours. But as our satellite moved further away, each day got longer, until reaching 24 hours. Did you know that if we were on the moon, we would weigh six times less? In fact, if a person weighed 60 kilos on the Earth, on the moon, they would only weigh 10 kilos. This is due to gravity. Gravity is a force which attracts other objects, either on the moon or on the Earth. This attraction depends on mass. As the Earth is six times bigger than the moon, it is to say it has six times more mass, it attracts other objects with six times more strength. It is clear that on the moon, we would all feel lighter. Did you know that if you drop a hammer and a feather on the moon from the same height, they will both land at the same time? As Galileo predicted more than four centuries ago, in an environment without air, like on the moon, there is no resistance on objects. So, they will land at the same time, even if their weight and masses are different. During the Apollo 15 mission, the astronaut David Scott dropped from the same height a hammer and a hawk's feather. As there is no resistance, because there is no air on the moon, both objects landed on the ground practically at the same time showing that the predictions Galileo had in the 16th century were correct. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.